Hey everybody, this is Brett back from Love Bats in the Belfry. This is another episode of the Love Bats Crypt. So this is a video review that we had done for a movie last year that came out on Netflix called Apostle. This is a movie that both Kelly and I had thoroughly enjoyed. Um, we had a previous channel, if you weren't aware in the past, that um, I mostly I was just doing reviews, so I decided to re-upload this review because this was a movie both of us really enjoyed and gave it high praise and definitely recommend it. So if you've not heard of Apostle, um, check out our review. Um, we don't spoil anything. And then if it sounds up your alley, definitely check it out on Netflix. It's a good one. So hope you enjoy our review. Hey everybody, this is this is Brett and Kelly back for, um, we're going to just talk briefly about a movie we watched recently on Netflix called Apostle. And this stars Dan Stevens and some other people you, you probably not have heard of. We'll just start off. Kelly, did you like Apostle? I really enjoyed this movie, actually. I did too. And I'm not, I don't know really how to say this, but it's, it's in 1905. Mm -hmm. And I'm not a person that really enjoys watching movies from like that era. I yeah, guess. like the 20th. 20th yeah. century, like That's just pieces, not my movies. Thing. Yeah. But I don't know. I really liked it. I thought it was very, it was very like enticing mm -hmm. and suspenseful and shocking. Yeah, it's like, a lot more than I expected. I, yeah, I definitely agree with you there. Like, this, I was thoroughly entertained by this movie. Yeah. Like, I, normally like I don't get that excited when watching movies but this it was a really great like I would call this like a good thriller mm -hmm. honestly definitely yeah like despite it being like a you know one of those like early 1900s where you know you know it's not very modern and like they you know they're all it's like all English accents and everything it's like it's really suspenseful mm -hmm. if you can get into the story it is a very basic story despite all the time it takes place in and right. there are little things where this could definitely I would say this what doesn't appeal to like a mainstream audience and which is that's you know we're, we're not like the typical going to the movies and you know expecting the crowd pleasers and this is a movie that I feel like general most audiences probably won't enjoy probably not yeah but and I think it, it's because it's so shocking like yeah it's about uh, kidnapped girl mm -hmm. and a cult and a brother trying to save his his sister yeah that is the literally the plot of the whole movie so people are expecting he's gonna go he's gonna fight he's gonna get his sister and it's gonna be a happy ending yeah like it's so, it's just gonna be you know the typical crop crop right. like it has you know those moments where you expect like oh this person's about to die but then someone comes in saves the day and it's like it has those aspects, but it's it like, does. it's d like, don't expect those things to happen because this movie goes in places where you're like, holy crap, like right. it, that, that really happened. Yeah. And that's what I liked about this movie. It was like, it wasn't afraid to take any risks. And there's a r lot of really great shots in the movie, like mm -hmm. the imagery. I love the score. The score is oh, awesome. It was good. Yeah, yeah. Like it's, it, it really, you know, goes for the creeps, but it's very unique sounding. It's just not a lot of a lot of horror movies now are just, you know, they're feeding off the synth pop eighties nostalgia thing. It's a lot of synthy mm -hmm. soundtracks, which there's nothing wrong with that. But this it took a lot of like really old instruments. It almost had like certain like weird percussion elements and I don't know. It was just, it was super unique of a mood, uh, like of a set of a score to a film. So like yeah, normally. I mean, I really enjoy scores, but it's something that I never really thought of until I met you, honestly. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just kind of one of those things that's in the background, and of course it adds to the, the movie and, it, and the experience of it, but I didn't pay much attention, and now I do, but this one really stuck out. Like, some yeah. of them, it's just, like, in the background, and it really doesn't stick out to you, but this one, I caught myself, like, really paying attention to yeah and it really it adds to the yeah. to the scenes it adds the suspense there's there's even one part we, we won't spoil anything there is one part where like it just builds and builds and builds mm -hmm. and like it really adds to this one scene yeah and um dan stevens i'm a big fan of dan stevens ever since watching this movie called the guest if you've never seen the guest i highly recommend watching that one mm -hmm. um but he's he's been in a lot of stuff that um 
we've seen. Um, I watch a show called Legion he's in, which is really great. We actually saw a movie with him in it, which I wouldn't expect him to be in. Was it was actually we went and saw it last year. It was called The Man Who Invented Christmas. Do you uh, remember that movie? Yeah, I do, but I don't remember who he played. He played Charles Dickens, who wrote A Christmas oh. Carol. Oh, yeah. Okay. So that's a it's a very huh. interesting character for him to play because if you yeah. see movies like Apostle and The Guest. He plays these like really intense, crazy characters, and he just has that face and the eyes for it. Mm -hmm. Like sometimes, I do think he looks a little silly, like when he's being so serious. But that's probably just me. Like <laughs> I think I think he's super charismatic. Like there's yeah. a lot of scenes in this movie where even kind of in the beginning he doesn't talk a whole lot. Like he pretty much like speaks like through just the faces he makes. He's, and yeah, his expressions are strong. Yeah, For and sure. like, he, <laughs> I heard him say that he was like, he's, I was like, he's got such an angangry face mm -hmm. in this movie. Yep. Well, you know, for good reason. But yeah, this is, I highly recommend this movie. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed it throughout. Um, I thought there was going to be moments that I was like, oh, I was like, don't go in the direction where the movie's getting so good, and then it just drops the ball. But it didn't. It kept me thoroughly entertained. Mm -hmm. So... I would, I want everyone actually to watch this movie, but I will just say, if you like movies like, you know, that aren't afraid to take a risk, that do go in places that, you know, that it, it's not afraid to go in that direction, then I definitely recommend this movie. It's weird. I, I wouldn't say it's like this movie, but if you like, if you like the movie like Hereditary that came out this year... I would suggest if you like a movie like that to watch Apostle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I can see that connection a little bit. Yeah, they're not really alike, but it, it's it like has sort of the same style. I don't know. Yeah, it has it has aspects that like both of those movies. You're like, it he, it does the cult thing, yeah. the uh, the like crazy like gods. I God also stuff. don't like cult stuff. Yeah, like I really don't, but I've really enjoyed this. Like the new mm. season of The Sinner is all religious cult stuff and I watched like three episodes and I was like this like I don't want to watch this <laughs> so I wasn't like super excited about this movie but didn't take me long at all a couple minutes yeah to, to grab me so. yeah yeah like if you can get if you get past like the first 10 minutes you'll probably know whether or not you'll get into it yeah so but you would recommend Apostle definitely yeah yeah so Give it a shot. If you like, if you like film, and you're you're just not like, I I can definitely see why they just release this on Netflix because, like, let's be honest, no one would go to the movies to see a movie like this except people who go to select theaters to like find those movies that be like, oh, I'd really love to see that. Like, this is not a crowd pleasing type. Or movie. they would go see it and ask for their money back, yeah. like they did when they saw The Witch. <laughs> or, yeah. Yeah. Like. Exactly. I don't know. Yeah, if you like movies like The Witch, Hereditary, or, you know, just horror movies that are, you know, shocking, not blatantly go trying to go too far to shock mm -hmm. you, but, like, just movies that take risks, like, you, I highly recommend this one, so, Apostle, if you've seen Apostle, just let us know in the comments what you thought, if you thought that it was the biggest pile of trash, that's okay, too. But, you know, it's all it's all fun and games here. So if uh, just let us know what you thought of Apostle. My name's Brett. This has been Kelly for this evening. We hope you enjoyed our review. So if you enjoyed this, um, also be sure to like the video, subscribe, and we will see you in a future video for more thrills, chills, and kills. So thank you guys very much for watching. Bye. Goodbye.